Hey, BCSD third graders. Let's take a look at day 13 math task. Tracy bought three magnets. Scott has two times as many. Then Scott buys one more. How many magnets does Scott have? Okay, to get an understanding of this math task, we need to really understand or point out the, the math language being used here. We start off with Tracy bought three magnets. Scott has two times as many. Immediately when I hear two times, I'm thinking multiplication. Okay, then Scott buys one more. Even though the number one is written out as a word, it's, it still is very important for me to note that he has one more. So that is making me think plus one because the word more should make me think addition. How many magnets does Scott have? Okay, so going back to the beginning, Tracy bought three magnets, and then Scott has two times as many. So three times two, because um, Scott has two times as many, as many what? He has two times as many magnets as Tracy. That's why we're doing three times two here. Okay, so we know that's six. And then it says, then Scott buys one more. So six plus one equals seven. How many magnets does Scott have? Scott has seven magnets. Okay, pretty simple task for today. And it actually provides a pretty decent introduction for the next page in your packet. Um, the next page introduces the idea of expressions, mathematical expressions. You may think that this is kind of strange at first because as the directions say, an expression, an expression does not have an equal sign. Uh, we are used to looking at equations, right? Like two times, I'm sorry, two plus two equals four. Two plus two, it has an equal sign and it has the answer. So that is an equation. An equation has the, uh, you have to make both sides of the equal sign the same or balanced for something to be an equation. An expression, though, does not have an equal sign. So if we write this very same thing, if we just leave off the answer, 2 plus 2, well, now all of a sudden that is an expression and no longer an equation. So you just have to be okay with there just not being an answer, okay? Now, the big deal uh, about this is that um, in numbers 1 through 4, for example, um, they're providing you with, again, more mathematical language, just like we had in the math task, like the words two times. So you have to look at those uh, numbers and then you have, to, I suggest you read them out loud and um, think about what the type of math that they're asking you to, to do. And then you're going to write the, the expression that matches the words that you hear. Um, for example, number one, four more than seven, okay? Four more than seven. Well, to me, that sounds like four, um, uh, seven plus four because I'm starting with seven. And four more than that, four more than seven would be seven plus four, okay? So there's your expression. You just leave it like that. You don't solve it. You just leave it. Two, the total of five rows of six chairs. Okay, the word rows, that clues me in to, that makes me think of an array. And arrays, that makes me think of multiplication. So five times six, that would be the answer for number two. Number three, difference between 89 and 80. Okay, the word difference, most of you know, difference means subtraction. Okay, so I'm going to have 89 minus 80. And finally, number four, three people equally divide. Okay, it even has the word divide in there for us, so you already know what to do. 21 divided by 3. Or if you want to, you can also write it like this. Okay.
but you're not going to write the, the answer. You just leave it. So in a way, it's kind of easier because you get to do less work. So that is all for day 13. I'm going to let you do the rest on your own. Good night, everyone.